my pulp machine had an old uh, garbage disposal that had a switch mechanism in the top here that would lock. Um, and you also had a switch, so you had to actually close the top. And that switch mechanism is right there. Uh, and the switch had actually failed, so I had to replace this for the house next door. This was going in the trash, so I actually just popped this little box off and bypassed the switch. So now it just runs on a switch, or in my case, standard plug, which needs a switch now. Um, but what I'm using this for is I have water input. This is the normally the dishwasher input drain. Um, so that when the dishwasher fills up with water, it pumps all the water out through the garbage disposal. And then this, the output down here, is what will be producing this, my pulp. Um, I'm going to be casting pots this fall for all of my garden start plants. So I've kind of designed or hacked together some old parts of that I had just kicking around the garage to make this so I could pulp out all of my papyrus. My pond grows an enormous amount of papyrus every year that I have to cut down, um, and it's very fibrous. It's actually what the Egyptians used to make paper, so I figured it would be a great source for casting into a mold that I can then use other additives to get it to kind of stick together, like some kind of muddy clay stuff, and make pots for all my plants for springtime. And so that's just what the fiber looks like at the end point. This is just a ton of papyrus that I've pulled already, and then... And then I'm going to be using terracotta pots nested on top of one another um, and then filling the negative space in between them with that paste and then compressing them together and then heating them up to some extent or leaving them out in the sun to dry out so that they'll become more um, structured and hard. I'm going to get a couple different size pots and try different techniques and different blends of materials to see what works best. But uh, that's the start of 2021 garden season as it always has to start early. And for all those people that only like this channel for Jeep stuff, a really handy trick if you've never done it. I just got these at the dollar store or Dollar Tree or whatever. Um, get yourself a flat baking sheet if you're ever going to do your transmission on your Jeep. I have to do the fluid swap on it. And if you've never done one, they're a huge pain in the butt because that whole pan has to come off. There's no drain and then you get transmission fluid all over your exhaust and all of these connecting rails on the bottom of the vehicle. So easy way to get around that is undo almost all of the screws, except for one in the front and one in the back to hold it in place. You slide a thin baking sheet underneath it, get yourself a good nice magnet, pin it to it so it's stuck there. And you can see gravity would wanna pull all the fluid to the back here. So maybe put another magnet here and then just tap a little hole right here in this pan and shape it so it can drain out and then put your catch pan here. Undo your two last bolts and let it all just pour out so you don't have as much of a mess under your vehicle. And these two sheets cost a dollar, so you get two chances of doing it right.